Okay, with this setup, I'm gonna make a Swedish torch, a brushwood Swedish torch. We have the stakes to hold it. This will be the wood in the center, flint and steel, the tender, the tender ball for the flint and steel to ignite it, and various other things that we're gonna add into it. You'll need, I use two lengths of wire, and these are rebar tie, and this is, well, they're rebar tie wire which is kind of a soft iron. You can manipulate it easily with your hands and it's also, it'll hold up pretty well to fire so you can reuse it multiple times. What you do, this is gonna be a smallish one. You can make them a lot bigger. I don't need a honking big fire. I'm just gonna cook something real quick. So you trim out your steaks. got red cedar and cottonwood for this. Set your two wires out. You already have your stakes trimmed at the bottom. This is what's going to punch into the ground. The flat top will hold the pot. You set two in. Start adding your firewood. This is a small one. You can make them much bigger, but I don't need a big fire at the moment. I just want something smallish because I'm going to heat a small bit of water for breakfast. So I don't need anything extravagant. And I don't need a blaze that can be seen from space. Make sure the tops of your stakes are fairly well even. That'll change a bit as you're setting it into the ground. Then wrap your wire tight. High and low. You shouldn't have to wrap them around a whole bunch. This wire, this rebar tie wire, it'll hold up well to the heat. Now if your ground isn't frozen, you can tap it into the ground. I got one stake considerably shorter, two should hold it. Kind of hold everything secure because it will loosen up a little as you're driving it into the ground. If the ground's frozen, this will not work like this. Okay. There's your tripod for your pot. The pot will set up on top like this. You can move this about and tighten up your wires if you need to. Just by pushing in with your thumb into the crevices. Get it to work. It'll set the way you want. Then you take your typical ignition system, which for me it'll be flint and steel today, and a tender ball. So we get the flint and steel out. Hold the char cloth up to where the edges are facing where the sparks are going to be blowing in.
couple of good sparks will get it going. That's already going. flame shove it down into there and I start adding twigs on top as they burn down it'll land on top and your Swedish torch will ask a last a little bit longer <laughs> 